Hey there, welcome back. This is part 13 of my WebDriver IO tutorial series. To check out my previous videos in this series, make sure to click on the card above or click on the link in the description below. In this video, we will take a look at how we can do cross-browser testing. So with multiple browsers out there, cross-browser testing is extremely important to ensure your website is working on all the browsers. So WebDriver IO makes it really easy for you to be able to run tests on different browsers. So, so far we have already been running on test on Chrome. Now we'll take a look at how we can run our test on Firefox too. So I'm here on the WebDriver IO documentation for driver binaries. So you can access it by clicking on the driver binaries under the guide over here. The very first thing you need to do is make sure you have Firefox installed on your machine. If you don't, then please click on the link here to install it. Now to run Firefox with your test, you need to install Gecko driver, which is the driver for Firefox browser. So if you're coming from the Selenium world, this might be familiar to you. Okay, so to install this, there's a couple of ways. If you're using Mac, you can do the curl command here, or you can do brew install Gecko driver. If you're on Windows, you can either do Choco install. If you don't have Choco installed, you can even try this PowerShell script. Or there's an easier way to do that by just going over to the their available releases over here and then click on this open it on a new tab and then here when you scroll down you're gonna see different packages here so make sure you install the latest version and then for Windows you can install the Windows version and for Mac or Linux you can install the applicable version so once you've downloaded the folder just extract the folder and in that folder you're gonna see this executable file so what you have to do is head over to your test and then here you have to paste that executable file. So what I will do is just drag and drop this to my root folder. So make sure this is in your root folder. So I have this gecko driver.exe stored in my root folder now. Now head over to the configuration file and just scroll down until you find capabilities which is over here. So if you notice by default we were using Chrome. So that's our capabilities that we stored and we are running maximum five instances. What that means is when the tests are running, it's going to open up to maximum of five Chrome browsers. So if you notice, we have these three files here. So if I run my test, it's going to open up in three separate Chrome browsers so that it can run the test parallel. So we want to do the same thing for Firefox. So this is my entire block. What I'm going to do is create another block. And then here I'll do browser name and just type in Firefox and save this. Okay, so that's all we had to do to get our test running in Firefox. So let's run our test to see if it works. But before we run our test, there's one more thing we have to do is what we have to do is make sure first to run our Gecko driver. So we installed this driver, but we are not running it. Previously, when we installed Chrome driver in our package here, package JSON, we had this Chrome driver, we installed the service, Chrome driver service. So whenever we were running our test, this runs automatically. But this is not the case for Gecko driver. What we install this driver separately. So we have to run this before running our test. So to do that, I'm gonna open a new tab. You can click on this to open a new tab. And what you have to do is just to current directory, since it's in root, I'm gonna do gecko driver.exe and then just hit enter. Okay, so if you don't see any error here, that means this is running. Now you can just run your test the usual way. So I'm just gonna WDIO, um, just add this here, and then run a test. However, when I will run this, I'm gonna see an error saying that session could not be created. And the reason for that is by default, when I'm running Gecko driver, it's not able to recognize where I have stored Firefox. And that's just because the way I have installed Firefox in my machine. For some of you guys, this probably might work. So when you just do this and actually hit enter here, it will probably open up Firefox and run your test. But in my case, this doesn't work. So what I have to do instead is tell Gecko driver where I have stored Firefox. So I can do that by, um, let me just open up this. I'm gonna copy this and then paste it here. So here's what I'm doing. I have my Gecko driver and in the binary, so you can do dash dash binary, and then I'm providing the path of where I have installed Firefox. So in my case, I have C program files and under the Mozilla Firefox folder, I've installed Firefox.exe. If you have stored it somewhere else and some other directory, make sure to provide that Firefox.exe executable file in your um, path over here. So this is what I'm gonna do in my scenario. If it fails for you by just running this, make sure you provide the binary over here too. So I'm gonna hit enter. As usual, you shouldn't be seeing any error here. And now I'm just gonna run our test here. So I'm gonna open this up here. 
And if you notice, it's running in Chrome and it also says it's running in Firefox. So I have one Chrome session here and then I have a Firefox session here. So both are running. So let's wait for this to finish. Okay, so both our tests ran and it passed. So if you first scroll up here, so passed in Chrome, passed in Firefox. And if I see here, let me just expand this. Well, that didn't help. Okay, so uh, you can see the Chrome test running over here. And if I scroll down, I can see all my Firefox tests running here. All right, so that's awesome. I'm gonna minimize this. So earlier in the video, I briefly described this maximum instances, but we haven't passed that over here for our Firefox. Now let's say if you have to run test right now, since if I scroll up here, we are only running tests for a search file. So it's, we are only running one single file here, but let's say if you have to run search watches and the chai.js too. So all I do, I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna do star.js, um, but instead of running chai.js, I'm just gonna run search and watches here. So if you notice, I've already skipped this test by adding an X here. So this won't really run this test. I'm gonna close this. So it's gonna run our search and watches test. So I'm gonna scroll down and over here, I'll pass the same maximum instances over here. So, oops. Okay, so we are saying run up to maximum of five instances for Firefox and same for five instances of Chrome. So let me run this test and see what happens. Okay, so if you notice, our first Chrome instance is running, our second Chrome instance is running over here, but for Firefox, there's only one instance running. So I have two Chrome browsers open, but for Firefox, I only have one Firefox browser open. So I'm gonna go back to my test and then just stop this test for a minute. Okay, and let me just open this up. I stopped the test, so you might see some errors here. You can ignore this for now. I'm gonna scroll up a bit. Okay, one thing to notice here is for Firefox, it's saying session already created, Fail, failed to create session. So what's this? So what's happening is when we are running Chrome, it's able to run our test in multiple instances. But for Firefox, it's only able to run test in single instances. And that's because by default, Gecko driver doesn't support multiple instances. That means you cannot do parallel testing with Gecko driver. So this is the problem for us that we have to solve. But for now, since the goal for this video was just to be able to run a test in Firefox and we did that and it's working for us. So we're not gonna worry about that. So I'm gonna minimize this. So let's do a quick recap. So what we did was we ran a test on Firefox by installing Gecko driver in our machine. Then we configured our test using WebDriver IO configuration. Then we also noticed that we could only run single instance on Gecko driver, which works when you're just getting started. But ideally you need to be able to run test on multiple instances of Firefox at the same time, just the way we are doing it for Chrome. So this is what we will cover in our next video by figuring out an alternative way to run test on multiple browsers. Alright guys, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and also make sure to subscribe to my channel to see more content like this. That's it for this video folks, I will see you in the next one.